It's been a two-month wait, but now little Luigi, Lorenzo and Linda will be reunited with their grandmother in the countryside. And it will be amazing because they will have like open air and the grandmother all at once. So I'm really like emotional about that. So I can't wait for it. On Monday, Italy will move to stage two of its coronavirus exit plan. Parks will reopen and residents will be allowed outside. I would like to have fun and go to the park with my friends. Compared to the past is nothing, but now is really a lot. So we, I think we appreciate a lot, much more than before the freedom. I'm, I'm a bit even scared about this. It won't be normal life, it will be a different life, I think, for everybody. During phase two, manufacturing and construction will also start again. It will be difficult the first day, the first week, to adapt to the new measures. We will still feel the lockdown in the weeks ahead because we haven't worked, but the costs remain. Sites have to adhere to work-safe measures such as temperature checks, masks, gloves and social distancing. Another sector set to restart is the auto industry, but many car dealerships fear they may never recover. There's a mix of excitement and fear because uh, the question is who will come when we reopen to buy a car. This is a game changer for all of us and certainly for the automotive dealership. This dealership has been in Francesco Barbusha's family for 100 years. He says it's the most difficult period the company has experienced. In 2008 the market dropped down after the financial crisis of 23 percent, so less than a half survived that crisis. Now we're looking at figures of minus 30 percent, so many of us will not survive. It's a sentiment shared by those businesses who have to wait another month to open, such as hairdressers, beauticians and restaurants. But the government says a slow and staged reopening is the only way Italy can move forward. Hermione Kitson, CGTN, Pescara.